some DIY spring room decor. All of these DIYs are incredibly easy to make and also very inexpensive. And since spring is coming up, I decided to have these DIYs kind of inspired by the spring season. So there are pinks and golds and lots of floral stuff to get you in the springtime mood. But anyway, before we get started, if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. I post my videos every single Saturday. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first DIY are these little metallic planters, perfect for storing succulents or things like that. So start off with a long piece of cardboard, make sure it is the right height to fit whatever you want to put inside of it. And then mark four different lines, all equal lengths apart. Next, just take a box cutter, an X-Acto knife, or a blade from a scissor, and just lightly score each of those lines. Once you have done that and cut off the excess cardboard, take some contact paper. I'm using some gold one I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Stick the cardboard on top of that and then fold all the extras over it like this, kind of like a present. The contact paper doesn't stick too well to cardboard, so if you can't get it to stick tight enough, I'd recommend using some scotch tape. It works perfectly fine. You won't even see it in the end. So once you've completely covered the outside of your cardboard with your contact paper, just take some hot glue or some strong glue and apply that to one edge of the box and then stick the other edge to it like this, creating a box shape. The scores in the cardboard we made earlier will allow it to fold into a box and you're left with this super cute metallic planter. This is a great way to jazz up any fake or real succulents you might have while also making some super cute room decor that can totally pull your room together. Plus it's super cheap because contact paper is only a few dollars and cardboard is basically free. So you can make a ton of these for your room in different shapes, sizes, and colors for basically next to nothing. This next DIY is probably my favorite and it's also incredibly easy and it is this flower wall clock which by the way is super cute too. So start off with any average wall clock, you can get these for about $15 online or Target, Walmart, places like that. You're also going to need some fake scrapbook flowers, I got mine at Michael's in this pretty pink color and it's really simple, all you have to do is take these flowers and glue them around the base of the clock like this. It's so easy and it literally takes you like 5 minutes. Plus it will completely transform any boring old wall clock to some super cute wall decor. So this is what the finished product looks like. I posted a picture of this on Instagram a week ago and you guys seriously loved it and a lot of you thought I bought this in a store. But in reality it's a DIY that will only cost you about $20 to make. 15 of that being a wall clock which you might even already have in which case it would be like a $5 DIY. So this last DIY is a polka dot pillow which I know seems super basic and easy but I thought I would include this in the video because I seriously think it's a great and easy way to decorate your room and make a super cute throw pillow. So start off by taking some circular sponges. I got mine from Michaels from the Martha Stewart collection. They're basically like these sponge dotting tools. They're really cool. I'll have them linked down below. And just take some paint of your choice and just start dotting your paint onto a blank pillowcase. You can do however many colors and shapes you want. I chose to do some big dots with pink and then some smaller dots and some gold. It really tied my whole room together and it was a super inexpensive throw pillow. I already had the paint, the pillowcase was like $5, the pillow insert I already had, and the sponges were like 5 or $6 at Michael's, so seriously it was so cheap. And I feel like at Target they sell this for like $15, which is totally outrageous because as you can see you can DIY it and it can turn out super cute. You don't even have to be good at art to do this, like honestly it's just putting some paint on a sponge and dotting it on a pillow. You don't even have to have any skill to do this whatsoever. I'm no artist and I think this turned out pretty cute. So once the paint has dried, just put in your pillow insert. You can get these pretty much at any store that would sell like home decor and stuff like that. And that is the finished pillowcase. This turned out super cute, a lot better than I expected. And it definitely tied my whole bed together. And since it's a DIY, you can choose whatever paint colors you want to match your room. Yeah, all I need. Already, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. I post 
my videos every single Saturday, so if you are subscribed, you won't miss out on any of those. Also, be sure to follow my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter for an inside look on my life outside of YouTube. And yeah, I will see you guys next Saturday with a new video. Bye!